You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. At dollarseed.com, all of our seeds are only a dollar a pack. And we have online resources that teach you all about the rewarding hobby of growing your own plants, flowers, herbs, and vegetables. Imagine the joy you'll feel when your children actually help you harvest your first garden crop. Or the pride of knowing you'll never need a florist again. Visit dollarseed.com and grow a little magic of your own for just a dollar. dollarseed.com. What could be healthier? Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another incredible episode of Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio. And I'm your host, Dini. We have another special guest for you guys. So we had to come back from a, a small break. It wasn't that small, but hey, we're back. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the music. Anyway, um, before we bring our guest on, I do want to say the most reliable way to enjoy success is to already be successful, right? Well, think about it. Those who are already successful have many distinct advantages. They are experienced at achieving what they set out to achieve. They have the confidence that comes from building one success on top of another. They have the knowledge, the contacts, and the reputation uh, to open doors for them. So how do you get yourself into that position? The answer is obvious, and and yet so many fail to see it. The answer is to learn from those who have already achieved some kind of success and especially the kind of success that you desire. Never in history of the world has there been a better opportunity for learning from others than there is right now. And we live in a world that is overflowing with in-depth information. I sat in on a meeting today uh, with the U.S. Copyright Offices about the new AI and and the rules and regulations that will come with that, hearing from uh, people from the literary world, art world, you know. (sighs) Yeah, we have a long journey, but hey, we're getting there. But it's a perfect opportunity to learn and learn at a rapid rate. You know, if you can't find at least a dozen detailed success stories in your field of endeavor, you're not really looking. And rather than envy others and their success, learn from them and create a success story of your very own. Take that from me, Coach Dini. That is my word and word is bought. Have you struggled budgeting your finances? Don't worry, you're not alone. HumbledBudget.com, that's H-U-M-B-L-E-D-B-U-D-G-E-T.com is the help and resource you've been searching for. HumbledBudget.com is a personal finance and educational website with a great variety of topics when it comes to budgeting, taxes, investing, and the popular topic of FIRE, financial independence, retire early. HumbledBudget.com has a goal, and that's to help you reach your financial dreams no matter what your goals are when it comes to finances it doesn't matter where you start where you come from or where you are right now humbledbudget.com can help what are you waiting for take that first step to the financial life you've dreamed of and go to humbledbudget.com that's h-u-m-b-l-e-d-b-u-d-g-e-t humbledbudget.com all right all right again welcome to the show you're listening to vrl that's Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio, and I am your host, Dini. Our interviews are designed to go beyond music, news, books, art, acting, films, technology, education, entrepreneurship, entertainment, and sometimes even past that thing that we call the ego. Our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these incredible human beings. You know, the ones who are out there giving it their all for me, for you, and for the world. 
So our next special guest, uh, she goes by the name of Marie. Uh, she's a rising singer, songwriter, and she shares her story on how a classic song by Rush inspired her debut single, which is called Rush Pause, and how she aims to bring authenticity and originality to her music. So we will hear about her journey and upcoming projects. So with that, let's go ahead and welcome her to the show. Marie, welcome. Hi, thank you. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good tonight. How are you doing? I'm doing good as well. Thanks for asking. So your debut single, uh, Rush Pause, is inspired by a Rush classic. Uh, their song, The Spirit of Radio, uh, which is a very, very cool song. Um, can you tell us about how the song influenced your own music? Yes. So the band, it goes beyond the music for sure because they were so unique each and each of them were so unique all three of them but also they were different i feel like they set a different standard as far as music goes um especially rock music um when you think of rock bands um of course you want to affiliate it with you know girls is going crazy and you know after i, I watched a documentary on netflix about them after the show these guys would they would sit and read books after their their shows were done like they would sit in their hotel rooms and read books and i thought that was one of the coolest things i had ever heard so that really got me intrigued into the music after watching a documentary on that books um i listened to the spirit of radio and it's just the instruments how they go they're, they're just so dynamic and they're so different how they change it up they, they mix it up they get you they get the listeners in um they catch the vibe for you whatever vibe you're on they catch it um and then towards the end they kind of do a bit of a caribbean style mix to the the song and i i love it i fell in love with the spirit of radio um so rushes rushes just inspired me to be myself they inspired me to want to not only create a song that i felt like anybody could really catch on to and vibe to but they they made me want to be authentic and my music and originality. Yeah, man, that's incredible and awesome. So speaking of authen yeah, yeah, speaking of authenticity and originality, how do you plan to bring that about in your work, in your world? I think for me it starts with just creating my own my own little trademarks. So like um I know polls are up on upcoming one hundred website i'm on the emerging 300 chart um so every time i check it every day i'm stamping it and i'm like let's go i'm I'm stamped in like the term bad nation and my instagram name is actually baddie beat hunter so it starts really with what makes you different i feel like what makes me different is the beats that i choose to get behind and make music to and also just being um, original in my style as far as the way that I put myself out there. Um, right now, I don't have a huge audience or a huge listening base, but every day I'm posting, every day I'm showing me. Um, I'm changing my hair. I'm showing my style, the way that I dress. Um, you hear it in my music and my lyrics. I think the main point is just being you and seeing what comes out, seeing who you are through not only the music that you create but all that you have to say you know how do you respond to your your fans your listeners your followers um you know how what do you stamp your fan base as i feel like mine is daddy that's my instagram name um i feel like it's a trademark of just being bad so not necessarily you know bad for society but being bad is being you being who you are um, I stand behind it 100%. Absolutely. So, can you tell us a little bit about your um, musical background and how you really got started in the industry? Of course. So, I have loved music since I was a little girl. I used to perform for my family, like outside. Um, I have a an adorable picture. I'll have to post it on my my social media one day. But um, we were performing actually Beyonce songs, um, Destiny's Child, outside in front of everybody. Um, it was, my cousin put it together for us. So me and my cousin were 
performing in front of our family. Um, we had on cute little costumes, but I've always wanted to be a performer. I always knew that music for me was, it was not just like a safe haven, but it was a place where I could authentically be myself. I didn't have to hide who I was. I could embrace every part and every aspect of me. Um, during middle school, of course, you know, there's chorus and things like that, but I used to freestyle with my friends in class, um, just listening to music that artists that I grew up to were making, so like Drake, Nicki Minaj, Chris Brown, Rihanna, you know, doing my own covers to the beats that they got behind, um, you know, keeping it in my journal. I never really got out there until I felt like I was fully out of my shell, which is now. Um, so that's why Rush Pause is my debut single. Of course, it's not like the first song I've ever written, but mm. this is the time for me to, to let myself out, to unleash who I, who I was becoming, um, evolving and turning into the woman that I am. I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud of who I've become, and this is the start for my music career, definitely. Absolutely. So with your evolution, um, how do you approach songwriting and creating music now? I know you mentioned, like, um, studying some of the, man, some of the people who are really rocking in industry right now, like Drake and Nicki and, you know, the type of oh, producers yeah. that they work with, you know. It's all a part, it's, that's all a part of it, you know, and some artists don't even understand that, but uh, for you, how does that change your approach? Well, how it changes my approach, I don't think it really, it, it doesn't really change it. Um, I don't think that it changes my approach. I think that they have a platform where they also, you know, promote their fans as being who they are, being themselves. So I think when you have someone who's made it so far in the industry to look up to, you know, to wear what they want, dress how they want, <laughs> say what they want to say, but also give you good music and put on, like, superb shows, it makes you, with whatever you're doing, whether it's music or not, it makes you want to be more of who you are. Um, so I, I definitely think they, they, of course, played a role in growing up in the music that I listened to and the influences, but I feel like it was all really good because it played a part in how I wanted to come out in the industry. I wanted to come out with, of course, you know, rocking vibes. I wanted to have that star power energy, but I also wanted to be new. I wanted it to be new, um, whatever I came out with. So I wanted it to to have, like, the punchlines that, you know, like Nikki is famous for. I wanted it to show, like, I wanted the punchlines to hit. I wanted you to hear it and be like, you know, what is that? Who is that? I wanted it to be that. I wanted it to have that foundation for me to start and just move my way up. Absolutely. So um, what do you hope that the fans take away from your music and the message that you're putting out? The message overall is it's okay to be you. It's okay to be who you are. Um, you're going to have people who are not going to believe in your dream. You're going to have people who are going to try to stand in the way of that. And you have to keep going. You have to keep going. Because if you give up, you'll never get there. Absolutely. But always remember to be you. Be you. And take pride in who you are. Because at the end of the day, everybody is given something unique. Everybody is given a gift. So tap into what makes you special. I feel like once you do that, there's no stopping you. No matter who says no, no matter who slams the door in your face, no matter who's in the way. Wow, absolutely. So um, could you walk us through like your creative process for Rush Pause? We're going to play that song uh, a little bit later. And uh, man, I, I like it so far. I like it. And I'm trying to understand everything about this song, especially the creative process and uh, what has actually inspired the lyrics. Thank you. Um, so I actually heard the beat first. Um, the website that I go to for beat, um, I'm, I like to pinpoint like what I want to do as far as the creative process. So I chose one what I like to stick with. Um, I want to like to focus on, and I chose some of like my favorite people to to get beats from. And when I heard a beat, 
it was just like the energy was just so like I, it was whoa that's the oh that's a good word for me to put in the category whoa the energy was whoa at the beginning because I can't compare it to the spirit of radio they start out like it's like a calm before the storm and then they come in with like so much bass so much hit and then boom the band starts going in with the lyrics so that's kind of where I got my influence from writing the lyrics I I was in my very first apartment um I was away from my family I moved very far away from my family um just to develop and grow alone sometimes you need to be alone so that you can you you is around you and you can find out who you are so I'm just writing um I was sad lonely happy excited like there were so so many emotions just mixed in one and once I heard the beat I feel like the lyrics just followed for me it's really just the beat the beat once it kicks in I feel like I can write for days once I get a beat that I like that's like really just like getting the blood pumping in me I just go for days and I can just write so that's that's really the creative process it once the beat comes in sometimes I don't need the beat but once the beat comes in and it's hot and by hot I mean like it resonates with me like I'm just like um, the energy is pumping I'll start writing and I'm just going with what's what's coming off you know the top of my head I'm hitting punchlines I'm not erasing them I'm just I'm just going with what I feel and then I'll play it back to make sure like the rhythm goes in once the rhythm goes in and it sounds right um, if I have to change something I'll change a little bit of something but overall it's just getting that energy going once that energy is going the pen just goes yeah that's incredible so not only are you a recording artist that's pursuing an active music career you also work part time um, how do you balance these two well I actually decided to go in business for myself um, so balancing them now I'm, I'm actually starting my own business going to be called Pretty Pieces. I am going to be selling smartphone accessories and things of that nature. Um, but the balance, I think is more, I can't tell you that there is a balance. I really can't because it's hectic. It's a lot of work, but it helps me put out the best of the best of the best you know, for me. So I have to be like on the dot with it because I'm not being I'm not able to dedicate the time that I want to right now not to say I won't be in the future but I have to I have to make sure that it's the best of the best whatever I put out whatever you hear I got to make sure that it's hidden because I'm not able to dedicate the time to it but when I do I make sure that whatever comes out is right on the dot yeah so are you one of the artists that believe that they should constantly put out singles and projects are you more of a quantity over, well, quality over quantity? I believe that you should put out as much music as you need to um, to get your message across or whatever goes with your brand. So it, it, it depends on what you feel or how you feel. For me, I can't put it out there unless I know that it's, it's flowing with whatever's going on around me at the time. You know, um, it has to, I feel like it has to just, it has to go in some sort of alignment. But I do believe in putting music out as much as you want to, if that's for you. For me, I don't, I don't work that way. I have to put out, I have to put it out when it feels right. And I feel like it has to go in alignment because I'm living, I'm living my life too. And I want to make sure whatever is out. I want to make sure that everything that I put out, I want people to say, that's hot. That's hot. You know, I don't want no knots in it at all. So it takes me time. Um, of course, you know, I got to get my vocals right, too, because I sing also. So it's the time. I feel like you have to put time into it because I don't want to put too much out there and it's not the best. I want to make sure that I'm putting the time into it and showing that this, this craft is something that I want to perfect. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 
All right, we're about to dig into your single, Rush Pause, and then we'll be back to put you in our traditional hot seat where you get to perform for us, whether that's freestyling, uh, rapping, singing, poetry, spoken word, telling a joke, telling the story from your life, playing an instrument, or just giving some advice. But for right now, guys, here it is, Rush Pause. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome, welcome back. What a dope song. It's called Rush Pause by Marie. Let's go ahead and bring her back. Yo, 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 you're back live with us and in our hot seat. What are you going to perform for us? Uh oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm going to have to go with, with, with a, a spiritual quote. All right. Okay. Energy never lies. The universe energy never lies. And whatever you're seeking is seeking you. 100%. That's it. All right, all right. Well, uh, what can you tell us about upcoming projects or show dates what can fans expect from you coming up all right so i am going to be releasing an ep this summer um it's something that can be looked forward to at the end of july um i wasn't sure if i wanted to do like enough songs to put out an album 
but I think it's going to be an EP. So at the end of July, you can definitely expect new music and a full project at that. So where can listeners connect with you online? So it can be through Instagram, um, TikTok, of course, for both of those platforms. My at name is Batty Beat Hunter, Hunter without an E, H-U-N-T-R, Batty Beat, B-E-A-T, Hunter. Um, you can also connect with me on SoundCloud, of course, Marie. Um, I am always active on social media, always looking, always posting, um, and interacting. All right, all right. And listeners, just in case you need those links and you didn't get them, no worries. I will have them in the description of this episode and in the show notes. So all you guys have to do is just click those links. Well, Marie, we want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. It was a complete privilege. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure speaking with you this evening. All right. Absolutely. Take care. Take care. Bye. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart's Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website which again is onlyonemediagroup.com and that goes for every single show that we've ever aired if you like to request music or send something for me to play email it to vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com that is v as in victor and here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone And actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show, so deal with it. (laughs) Just kidding. On behalf of myself, Denny, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stuffed up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat, TikTok, and all social media sites as well as Spreaker, YouTube. We always follow back. Okay, well, just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself. Peace, love, grilled cheese, and talk with you later. You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.